It's all connected. 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 It's all
uh, here on uh, reallibertymedia.com or over there on rlmradio.xyz or the tune-in station or wherever else we may be being broadcast at that either we are aware of or not aware of. <laughs> and welcome, and welcome to all the folks here in the chat that are tuned in. I don't know how many of these people are actually tuned in. They, they Most of them are like lost in their own little worlds most of the time. <laughs> Ain't that nice, though? Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, anyway, so um, we'll, we'll kick it off uh, with, with the first uh, topic that you uh, – statement, uh, whatever um, – that, that, that you provided me this morning in the, uh, in the uh, wire chat. Um, mm. And I have a question about your statement. Oh, good, because usually I ask questions. Yeah, usually you do. Yeah. And then you have answers. I did. So, well, sometimes. <laughs> anyway, your first one was, nothing in the commercial world is what it seems. Yes. So my question is, what is the commercial world? Everything that is trying to sell you something or put a price on a value or something and make it a commodity. Okay. Well, um, that would mean pretty much everything, right? I mean, Pretty much. I mean, out, outside of the commercial world, yeah. You know, even even within your own family, your your other people in your family are trying to sell you something, and just not as a you know a, 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 with an exchange of cash, but they're trying to convince you to do A, B, or C. You know, uh, it, no, it, you haven't met my family then. I have not met your family. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> No, but the, but but uh, but yeah, I assume that there are a lot of people who let commercial um, forces enter their um, private spheres or their family spheres or their personal connections. Right, right, right. That's what this shit does. It oozes in. It always, always oozes. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it oozes <laughs> in, and nothing in that. As as soon as somebody wants to sell you something, right, or attach a value and make you or something a commodity, they're going to tell you lies. They're going to deceive, or at least they're going to hide or obfuscate something from you, right? Of course, yes. They're gonna, yeah. they're gonna, the commercial world is going to use one of those three, um, what will you call those forces, methods? What what do you would you call deceiving, inveigling, and up, obfuscating? Yeah, there um, those are methods methods yeah. to to get you to bend to their will. Um, yeah, and, you know whether whether they're obfuscating, covering up, uh, making something look a certain way, uh, deceit, deception, of course, deceiving. Um, they, so why do I use the word commercial world and not like mainstream, right? Because cause we are used to thinking in mainstream and alternative, right? And if you're really broad, then you think in indie too, right? You got you know, mainstream, your alternative, and your indie, right? Your indie? Yeah, the independent ones, right? Okay. Well, because the alternative all got bought up, right? So now you have the independent ones, the indies who wasn't bought up, right? But they're still, you know, they're still trying to sell you something. Right, they they are. They're trying to sell you uh, on on their point of view, whatever that may be. Uh, although, Either that or clicks or commercials or something. Right, they're trying to get you to believe uh, whatever it is that, that, that they're saying. Uh, in, in who order... was it that said that if something is free, you're probably the... The product? Uh, a lot of people. <laughs> I yeah. don't. I don't know who said it originally, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. Free is uh, free is often the most expensive. Uh, yeah. That that there is. Um, so just you know, when you go on the um, World Wide Web for ones, right? Which is the commercial part of the internet, right? Yeah. Just remember. Just remember that you're in the commercial part of a media of something. In the commercial part of a what now? Well, 
well, I'm sure there are commercial parts of other sites of the internet than just the World Wide Web, right? Oh, sure. But I think it's fair to remember that when you're on the internet, no matter what you are there looking for, what you're getting out of it, chances are somebody's trying to sell you something. Yeah, pretty much everywhere you go, that's that's that is true. That's the case. Yeah. Um, you know, you'd be driving down the road and you got billboards up and down the road. They're trying to trying to sell you something as you're driving, <laughs> or you got your your car radio on and and you know they're they're all trying to sell you something there on the radio. Uh, so. And and nothing in that world is what it seems, you know. It's, no, it's not, no. It's, it's, a, it's never what it is presented as. Right. Almost that, uh, that I would say that would be the case at least 90% of the time, if not more. Um, I mean, say, I, you know, every now and then you're running a, across uh, an honest person doing, saying honest things. Uh, that they may have something to sell you, but they do it in, in, a, in an honest manner. Uh, yeah. But that's 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 the rarity. That's not that's not the commonality. And usually those people aren't cycled through links and retweets and retweets and links and more relinking and relinking through all sorts of social media. Right. Honest people are usually not uh, being cycled through social media. So social media is what the biggest commercial brand advertisement platform there is. It took commercialized to a completely new level, right? Oh, absolutely. And and with the way it's all been set up now, I mean, um, they they know everywhere you've been looking at or what you've been looking at on the interwebs, and and they'll and they'll try and sell you something that they believe through their spying on you uh, fits mm-hmm. your desires or needs. Um, like in the old days, you know, in the old days, I'm not that old. I don't say shit like that. But uh, yeah, you're <laughs> before you're the whole social media thing, right? right? You had the odd here and there Alex Jones who would twist a little truth into something and try to sell it to you, or you had the TV uh, uh, evangelists, right? <laughs> yeah. Who would do the same, right? Sure, sure. Yeah, but it wouldn't be everybody or every message you get from anybody, right, that's tainted through some commercial shit. Right, right. But with the whole social media, right? Now you take now you take that tainted commercial message and you start cycling through people that you trust because it's from people you like. Exactly. So and that- all of a sudden, it's no longer this. Uh, somebody's trying to sell you bullshit. It becomes like small recommendations, right? Yeah, and then and then the, the you know some of the people that you know they've heard whatever message uh, that, they, that they were deceived into believing, uh, mm-hmm. and and uh, through that message they uh, uh, will 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 take that information that they think is true because they heard it there mm-hmm. and, and they were uh, inveigled. Uh, so, so, so that they they felt good about it, and they, it was like their their way, their right to now take that and and share it with you and push it upon you. Yeah. Uh, and and a lot of times, if you don't follow whatever those you know your friends or relatives, neighbors, whoever uh, have heard and 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 came to believe, um, and now that you are their friend all this time, and now suddenly you're a bad person because. Because uh, you're because you're not going along with what they've been sold uh, mentally. Because I would say like Twitter, right? Yeah. Twitter to me is is more a um, transaction. You know, it's more of a, of a, a currency transactions uh, platform than it's uh, anything else. Do okay. you do you know the the term called clout? Clout, sure. Yeah. You know, not like the clouds in the sky, but C L O U T. Yeah, right. Like uh, the people. Your social you know, reach, right? Uh, yeah, if you have like a you know a million followers, you've got a lot of clout. And yeah, so that's like a currency, right? In in the in the, in the commercial world of of social media, you have this clout commer- currency. 
Right, right. Your social score. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And and a lot of people, you know, you, you can make real money from that. It spins off real gold, right? It does, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it does. And, you know, those people, once you once you get up, to, you know, uh, to however many followers you're, you're considered a social influencer, I guess, uh, yeah. or whatever they call them, and, uh, and 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 people will offer them, uh, you know, real real cash dollars as far as that as real as that is, um, uh, to to you know uh, pump their point of view uh, to their followers, yes. and they'll yes. they'll convince them it's a good thing to do. And and Twitter is and this is kind of interesting. You probably know this though, but I didn't until a couple of weeks ago. Twitter actually calculates the number of retweets into a clout number. So they actually made like the currency exchange there. Okay. I I know I'm not, I was not aware of that, but I mean, I guess it makes sense that they would. Uh they are mm-hmm. basically an advertising platform. Um Yeah. More they than are. more than anything, even though I I always block people that are advertising on my on my timeline. But they're all, though. That's the thing, right? The ones that you you like to follow are still advertising. They're trying to. They're still selling you you a, or me a product, right? Well, they're selling you a point of view. Uh, yeah, or yeah. truth, or a, or or whatever you know, the stuff stuff or, they stuff they found interesting, and they they think yeah. you would you would find interesting. Uh, yeah, you know, a lot a lot of them are that way. But I I probably have a different. I probably you're not even on Twitter, right? No, I'm not. Okay. Well, I, I, so, it, but if you were on, I open the Twitter links when people link them, and I have fun reading all the comments. Yeah, if you if you were on Twitter, I would imagine uh, the group of people following you or you follow would be far different than the group of people that I follow. Um, Probably. I have I have mostly uh, you know and caps and capitalists. That I follow. Mm-hmm. That's the, my primaries, and then I have some. But that's of the, because that's what you want to give your uh, social currency to, right? Because you're donating with your social currency, right? Right. Well, I, you know, I, I of course that's a thing. Like, um, I want to, I want to hear my views echoed back at me by other people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, and you are somehow, you know, because cloud. To, I really see it as a currency, though, right? Yeah, so sure. just like everything else in the commercial world, it, 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 whatever you can put a value on, you you can make it into a commodity and you can start trading it. Right. And so they did that with social reach, right? They made that into a commodity that they can now price tag through the cloud, and then they they can sell it. Yes, yeah, so and they and they can of course. There's, there's not a lot of products that they can sell to an, an ANCAP, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, maybe not uh, brand products, right? Yeah, but yeah. they're selling you something else, though. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, so. they're selling you a worldview or something, right? or something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just, I think the commercial world is pretty much going to frame. Frame it better than the mainstream and the alternative. Because I'm just going to say, I don't trust the alternative or or really the indie media any more than I do the mainstream. Right. Yeah, I, even though, you know, like uh, you, you mentioned Alex Jones earlier. He's mainstream, though, right? Well, uh, (laughs) he's he's definitely a deceiver. Uh, Anyway, but if you go to his website, it's like ninety. He he even got Google and Twitter and those people to play along in his show. It's like ninety percent ads on his site. He's he's always (laughs) always trying to sell you some kind of crap. Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, And you know the same the same goes for almost all. All the websites out there. I mean, even Real Liberty Media, I, I've put some uh, links up there, although I don't think any of them are actually giving me any money or ever have given me you any money. You have AdSense up there? I would, if I... No, I don't, I don't use AdSense. AdSense. No, no, no AdSense. No. Uh, but but I, I use, you know, other banners with people that I've signed up as, you know, to, quote, mm. partner with, although... <laughs> mm. um, uh, yeah, but, you know, uh, things like Amazon... 
which uh, is, is a huge, a huge evil corporation, Amazon, right? Uh, yeah. But the thing is, they always have what I need at a better price with uh, better delivery times than other people. So, yeah, they're huge. Yeah. They're huge and evil, but they provide me a hell of a service. Um, so, <laughs> but I have other things up there. You know, I got like Grass City for people looking for like bongs and pipes and stuff like that. And uh, I got a thing for VOIP for telephone. That stuff that I use it is what I have up there mostly. Um, that I personally use is, is, is what I put up. I'm not trying to trick anybody into to buying something that I wouldn't buy. Um, but does it really make sense to use the word evil about corporations, though, right? Well, and it, it, it all depends myself. on your point of view, doesn't it? I mean, um, if they're uh, an entity, like they're they're an object. Though, if right? you're running a small local business, there's no way you can compete with Amazon. No. Uh, be, be because I mean, such bulk, such they could do it in such quantities, and they could ship it to the people free, and have it there within a day. So. Um, but, but again, th their whole business model is a uh, symptom of a deeper illness, though, called uh, planned obsolescence. In a way, in a way, uh, you know, it's, it's like uh, when Walmart started moving into towns and and just wiped out all all you know all the local businesses couldn't keep, couldn't compete with that with uh, Walmart because because of the volume they do and and so they can get the prices the best and. Uh, well, that's only because well, again, again, that's only because you need to buy a TV every four years, though. Well, I don't know. If if you didn't, if you if you needed to buy a TV, every, you know, once or twice your life, and it was upgradable or something, right? Right. Then Walmart wouldn't have their business model. Yeah, well, if they couldn't do the volume, then right, they wouldn't have their business model, but they can. And and you know if if I they got a demand. you know if I if I'm looking to uh, you know of course I'd love to support my my local businesses my local small businesses but if I've got to do it at a twenty percent uh, price hike then maybe I'm not going to. Uh, yeah, so what does okay? I don't get that. It doesn't matter though because you're still going to buy a TV from Samsung, right? Right. But and, you, and, and, and inherently, uh, the way Samsung is producing TVs is a million times more destructive than what Walmart is doing to small s stores. Is it? Oh, yeah. If everybody... I if, would say, I would if, say if, it okay. is. Okay. Say, say if... They're mining, they're mining, you know, materials like shit yeah, yeah, from yeah, Africa... Yeah. Yeah, they're doing all right. that, but I mean, we're talking about your your local community, whatever that may be. I understand that, but you're still going to buy a TV from Samsung there, and Samsung is destroying the whole planet we're living on. Right. Just, you know, not single-handedly <laughs> Samsung, right? But but the 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 life cycle the destructiveness of the life cycle of a tv is insane yes and and they're producing them so that you have to buy a new one all the time okay and the destruction of the tv and tvs is just an example of this right right yeah this is the part and we can take it to point 2 then right of this whole statement sure because this is the thing, and I'm going to talk about Greta Thunberg now, right? All right. The who, young girl, uh, right? Who, who just turned 18. Oh, congratulations, right? Uh, yada, yada to you. You are very um, a very misunderstood little kid, right? Right. Because the one thing she wouldn't talk out against was pollution. She she would never ever come with the answers to to the pollution, and I'm going to say that the whole climate change is an enabler for pollution, right? Okay. We're and never addressing the problem. We're never addressing the fact in all this that we are producing TVs, and that's just one thing. No, they, all in they ways, all they all they talk about is something they can use to control you with, which is uh, yes, yeah, carbon dioxide. And they they yes. can they consider for whatever reason it makes no sense uh, is carbon dioxide is a pollutant and it's not 
Um, because they're trying to sell you something. They're not trying to change the world. They're trying to sell you something, which is uh, self-loathe, fear, and and shame, right? Well, in order because they want to charge you, they want to tax everybody for for all yeah. the, all the carbon they produce. Uh, every time you exhale, you're producing carbon dioxide. Uh, and even worse, they want humans to believe that they are a uh, nuisance and, and a danger to the planet, we, which we are not, because <laughs> we are the planet, right? The planet is humans, too, and we are the planet, and we are not separate from this planet. So we are the planet, just like everything else. So we're not a danger to ourselves. That's what they want. They want you to talk about all these other big stuff instead of the really the fact is that we decided that we were going to do this about 100 years ago. Right. When we started mass producing. Yeah. Yeah. The Industrial Revolution. Right. I was taught that in school. This wasn't hidden from me. I was taught I was taught about planned obsolescence in school as as a fact of life okay well and again you are uh you know approximately 20 years younger than i am uh and so they didn't teach us that in school we we didn't know about planned obsolescence uh, and i don't think it was always such a thing because uh when you know uh, cars used to be built so that they would last forever pretty much uh and and they are certainly not any longer and and this uh stuff like these cell phones now cell phones are one of the one of the biggest issues um as far as they are working they are working on the the models of of of, of smartphones they are working on the models of three years from now they got and they got the two release releasings it laid out yeah. for the next two years and right. they're working on the third one and and the thing the thing about stuff like cell phones is the fact that Whatever you bought is probably still working great, but they got a new model out, and they want you to buy that new model. And they'll tell you, yeah. this, your old model can't do this, that, or this. Yeah, but it does what and, it does. And they do not build it um, upgradable, though, right? No, no, of course not. <laughs> not. They do not build things in a way where you can take apart my phone and, and get the pieces, you know, the parts that went into it and upgrade those and put them together in a new way. No, no. So none of this is being reused, right? Right. Yeah, you just talk and, it out. And, and you know. Technology uses heavy metals and, and all sorts of resources that are scarce on this planet, though. Right. And and that that, and that is the thing, you know, one of the things about humans is that we, you know, we are the most destructive species on the planet. Or maybe maybe the only actual destructive species on the planet. I I don't know of any other species that, you know, strip mines or uh, <laughs> and, and I'm going to go with if we really wanted to change cuz cuz um and this is the game changer, right, Grimner? The minute you start, and you are a heavy, um, um, you are heavy outspoken about this with climate, climate activism, and climate change, right? Right, because the change. way they, the way, the way they sell it is is total nonsense. That's why. Um, uh, it, and and you and 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 we have no proof because it's it's changes in climate. <laughs> it's yeah right. Climate they, changes all the time. They, I mean, they can't even tell you the weather for that afternoon correctly, yeah. and they're going to yeah. tell you what's going to happen in thirty years down the road. Uh, but while we're discussing that stupid mess, right? We're not talking about pollution, and we're not doing anything about pollution. No, no. I, matter of fact, we are polluting just as much. Right, and pollution is a local issue, not a global issue. Um, it is, yeah. it is. Yeah. So you, but uh, it becomes a global issue once you start, um, like, exporting and importing trash, though, right? Sure. That's, that's a major import and export on this planet is trash ex import and export. Right. And, and Denmark is both importer and exporter of trash. Well, all, all, all nations are, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But well, you sell it to the poorest country of the world, and they they uh, they take it, right? In order to get a better life or whatever, however they sell it. Yeah, yeah. give the money, and they take all our trash, and they drowning in plastic. 
and 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 uh, it's going to pollute the whole planet, right? The oceans are connected. Everything is connected, right? Everything That's is where connected. we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yet they they are trying to tell you the climate activist insanos, right? Nuttos, insanos. Mm-hmm. They are trying to tell you and trying to teach you and trying to sell you that somehow you are a cancerous cell on this planet, which were you were born into. You are born from this planet, right? right. And you're supposed to be this destructive cancer is cell that's that's their problem it's it's not the way we produce tvs that's the problem it's somehow humanity Cause, right because i where i'm looking at it it becomes very obvious <clears throat> no it's the way we produce tvs <laughs> stop doing that right right but then uh, they have to come up with a new way because People want that stuff, and they want the people's money, right? Uh, but I'm pretty sure that if Samsung and Apple and all the others come together with all their brilliancies, because that's the beauty about humans, though, I'm pretty sure they're going to innovate a way for us to take apart, upgrade, and put back together somehow. I'm pretty sure they could do that if we wanted to combat pollution, but we don't. Right. No, no, they want they want to do everything, uh, you know, and, and minimize the costs of the production yeah. of whatever it may be. Uh, so and the can... reason why it's an enabler for pollution is because not not only does it obfuscate, right? Right. Because that is what it does, right? And, the whole and climate change, massive it deception. obfuscates, right? Ma- and, ma- <laughs> and, and massive deception as well. Yes. And, then, then and they're making people think that this is um, such a complex and big problem that has so many chaotic factors. There, there's no way uh, um, people could work it out. And come on, we created planned obsolescence. We can pretty much plan our way out of it too, right? Obsolete the obsolescence. Yeah. I would say that. <laughs> but but because they because they are not only just de- they're not just distracting us away from talking about pollution they are up they are, I like the word obfuscating they're making it bigger and more complex so that we won't even touch it right yeah we won't even get closer to it uh, you can't see the the real causes of whatever it is and it's obviously it's not global warming. Um, <laughs> no, which, no. Which is, no, which which no, they, it's plastic they, masks in the seas for fuck's sake. Yeah, fishermen are hauling up masks, blue itty fucking stupid masks from the seas right now, all over Indonesia and and uh, and Asia. Come, on, it, it's insane. Even here in my small town, I I see those stupid masks in the parking lots all laying around. You yeah. know. Probably because of the seagulls, right? <laughs> no, no, because people, you know, they'll they'll put them on when they uh, go in some place, and they'll throw them out as soon as they walk out on the, on the ground. They just throw them on the ground. And, well, here people put them in the trash bins, and then the seagulls trash them out because they're looking for food, and they go, "That ain't food. No, that ain't food. No, that ain't food." <laughs> yeah, well, apparently here there's they they don't care. They just throw them on the ground. Mm. Uh, so yeah, it's it's and, and, and it's like okay, um, if you wore that mask because you think there's actually this uh, fake virus out there, a real virus out there, that you call, that fake virus that you call a real virus out okay. there, and you were using that to breathe through, now is not your virus on that mask and you're throwing it on the ground? Yeah. So that you know somebody's got to come along eventually and pick that crap up, and then if there is was actually a real virus. Uh, then, then they would be exposed to whatever that nasty shit that was coming out of your face. Uh, but see here, this, and, and I got to uh, let's just okay. Then let's just say that uh, the virus is real. It's as deadly, and now it's mutated. It's even worse. Uh, and masks are the answer to the problem, right? Let's just assume all that, right? Okay. And 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 just for one minute being that and what did what did we do as a world we went to the mainstream com- commercial world we asked them to start mass producing throwaways dispensable bad bad masks 
that um, the Danish media, they make tons of those where they take them from the boxes, straightly bought, and then they measure their levels of bacteria and germs and all sorts of stuff in the newly masked from the box, and the levels are way high, right? Right. Because they're they're hastily mass produced somewhere in India or something, right? Sure. Hey, they could they could probably test those brand new masks straight out of the box for for the corona nonsense and come up with the uh, that oh yep these masks are all infected. <laughs> yeah. So how why didn't we spend? What if let's say that that was this was true the masks are the you know the cure all to end all right? Why didn't we spend our energy and innovation and 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 skills? into then producing masks that you wouldn't have to buy a million of that wasn't completely polluting to the planet and that actually didn't make you more sick because they're full of germs. Right. Why did we go back to the same trash shit commercial that we always do? Mass produced disposable shit that, you know, was made by the poorest of the world. Ah. Cheap, easy, and convenient. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, that, I think that's the choice, and that's why we're still talking about climate activism instead of doing something about pollution. Well, of course, the, you know, the, the uh, climate activism, you know, it's being pushed by the same globalists that, that want to do all the rest of the nasty stuff to us. Uh, Who doesn't want to stop polluting? <laughs> that's the sick part. It is literally enabling them to keep on polluting. Of course, yeah, and... And you know, in in these huge factories, they they love to pollute because it, it's so much cheaper than actually taking care of it at the source. Yes. You know, uh, it, I didn't see Bill Gates spend his entire fortune and all his his uh, clever geniuses. I didn't see him doing on a, a sustainable computer hardware that wouldn't need to be replaced all the time and didn't use really really polluting materials. No, but he's he's just a liar. He lies about everything. Yeah, I saw him go the other way. He wanted to do a one dollar computer and go completely cheap, which you know can only be mass produced and cheap and will break fast, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can go to part three then. Uh, okay. If you're done with climate, are you done well, with climate? Uh, you know, you I'll, don't like that. I'll, I'll never, I'll never be done with the whole climate thing because <laughs> um, and until until they give it up, which I, I don't see them doing. It's part of Agenda uh, 21, Agenda 2030, that they could control us. Uh, through through the you know the the guilt of being humans that are, that breathe and uh, do everything we do, you create some amount. Well, not everything, but ninety uh, percent of the things we do <coughs> create some amount of carbon dioxide, mm. which they they deem as a pollutant, which it's not a pollutant. So, uh, and they but, want to do that in order to control us and steal from us. Uh, but see, here's the thing. I would actually start believing them more if, if okay, this is the, do, do you know that when you're talking about green investments, right? Mm -hmm. Investing in tech companies automatically make you more green than investing in food production. What? No, that would be reverse. No. Investing in tech companies versus in, in, investing in food yeah. production? No. If, if you look at the big investments and they go, we have green portfolios, right? We do CO2 neutral investments. Mm -hmm. They are they are made they are probably invested a lot in tech companies. Oh, they are, but that I mean that doesn't make it accurate. Yeah, yeah. And if they and if and what counts down in their CO2 indexes is investments in food productions, like beef and, and stock and, and and fish, right? Right. But if you invest in Google and data centers and all that, which are major suckers of CO2, right? right. They use so much power, man, and they produce sure. absolutely nothing, right? Uh, except for disinformation. Yes. So, th so there you go for the for the good of climate, right? And you have all these green investment companies. I don't know about in America, but in Denmark, inv investing green is very big. Yeah. Oh no, it definitely is here as well. And you know, of course, they sell the carbon offsets, carbon credits, whatever. Yeah. Um, which, which is, uh, you know, if you want to go back to Al Gore, one of the major pushers of this nonsense, um, he 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 was 
hoping, and, and probably did actually, um, cash in big time on carbon offsets, uh, which apparently if you pay money, uh, the carbon dioxide you produce uh, no longer matters because you paid for it. Yeah, right. Because because uh, because then you can buy your CO quota from the poor countries while you sell them your trash, right? Right. And they got no way of coming out of their poverty because we're still living in a, in a world where it's actually hardware or the industrial production that would give you the money, right? That's correct. So we're they're never going to push forward from that. They they've been selling out all their um all their CO2 uh quotes and they're taking all this trash. They're just drowning in pollution. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And none of this is, is all this does is probably just enabling more pollution. Oh, I think so. I think without a question that that's the case. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, it's a sleight of hand, right? Um, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm bringing your focus over to this while over here I'm doing something else that's going to, uh, you know, trick you into doing what I want or believing. Because fact that you probably, if you sat down with Greta Thunberg and you smoked a spliff with her and you talked about pollution, you and her, uh -huh. you and her would probably find great dis uh, great agreement. Uh, probably as long as she was high enough to to not uh, you know <laughs> spew out her nonsense yeah uh, yeah but she's she's just you know she just she was given a language though right but but as soon as she says how dare you i'd smack her upside the head <laughs> <laughs> no you wouldn't cuz you like women who are feisty <laughs> so you yeah. like girls who are feisty too Grimley. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> All right, let's go on to peace talks are enablers for a war. Well, it's kind of connected, though, right? Um, it, but, it is. It is. I mean, like, uh, let's go to Flash's favorite topic, Palestine. Um, yeah. Because they're always doing the peace talks, peace talks over there. But regardless of what the talks are, uh, Israel continues to take over more and more Palestine and attack the people there, destroy their homes, uh, kill the kill the people that are there. Uh, and and if anybody says anything <laughs> positive about Palestine or negative about Israel doing what they do, then suddenly you're an anti-Semite, which is a ridiculous term for uh, if you were actually being against Jewish people, uh, because uh, that pretty much most of the Semites are Arabs. Um, <laughs> and but but they but they they made it into a, no this is an Israel only thing. If you're against Israel, you're anti Semite. But if you're against but, but what the peace talks did right was um, very cleverly uh, up through the I don't know but the 70s and the 80s and the 90s uh, the peace talks made Israel more and more. Um, mainstream and and somehow the the occupational state that is Israel was, became a country yeah in all those peace talks they became uh, a country and all of a sudden the most radical solution you can think now is that we go back to 48 and I'm going, but but if you go back to '48, you still took Palestine away from Palestinians. Right. Yeah. I mean, okay. Um, Israel was given land, given a country, uh, given, but it but it was already somebody else's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was it, somebody yeah. else already you know lived there, and now now uh, those people that lived there, instead of being eighty percent of the or ninety percent of the uh, the land mass in that area. Yeah. Uh, are now like you know four uh, percent because they were tribal, right? They were a tribal empire that lost most of their land. So they're the most of the Middle East are just uh, war loot, right? Being divided between the the winners, right? But that doesn't make it any less stolen land, though, right? It does not. It does, certainly no. does not. Um, no. But the peace talks does. The peace talks 
uh, and the negotiations. Why would you negotiate with with somebody who stole your leg? This is like uh, I had a friend who got his bike stolen, right? Mm -hmm. A couple of months later, he's out walking uh, in Copenhagen Street. He sees his bike. Okay. He goes over to take his bike back. The guy comes out and says, hey, that's my bike. And he says, no, it's not. That's my bike. <laughs> you stole it from me. I said, well, okay, but um, I put a new lock on it and I changed the gears and I, I put new tires on, so you owe me some money. <laughs> so, my friend, <laughs> that's, 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 so my friend ended up paying to get his own bike back, right? That, that's, a, that's a bold thief. Sir. That's, that's a very bold thief. Uh, yeah, but it, it's kind of like the same, right? But no, wait, you stole, but you took it. Yeah. Right. Why? Why are we negotiating? Why are you negotiating with the guy who stole your bike, right? Exactly. But your friend go went ahead and did that because. But the minute you walk into peace talks with war criminals, you are kind of saying that they have a. Um, that they are forced to, that there's something that should be reckoned with, right? Right. That they have a they have a as much right to yeah. to, to whatever as you do, uh, even yes. though even though they're the ones that that caused all the harm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and all land is stolen, Rob. I agree with that. But if there are people who can still, you know, who are still being kicked out of their land and their houses. Then I think it's different than you know having to dealing with people who was kicked out of their land and had the houses stolen two thousand years ago or five hundred years ago. Right. Well, you know, you could take uh, you know most of the things that government does as an example of uh, the thieves that are selling your own property back to you, uh, mm -hmm. whether it be um, well, you used to be able to go out and fish and, and get yourself a dinner. Uh, without having any kind of requirements for licenses and permits and tags and all that crap. Mm -hmm. uh, now the government stole that right from you, but they will allow you to do it if you pay them a fee or several fees, uh, depending on what it is. Um, so they, you had the right to do this. They stole that right from you and are selling And the it. minute you start voting and participating in their negotiations, you are you're creating an equal partner with rights, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, because you yeah. are you're saying by by your vote, you are saying, I believe in your system and I support your system. Yeah. And whatever, whatever uh, harms you inflict upon me are fine because that's the way the system works. And so yes, I consent. It's really I consent to your mandate. But no, you didn't have the mandate, man. Right, right. Man, see, I'm I'm speaking Biden now, man. Man, come on, man. <laughs> come <Yeah>. on, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 um, uh, you know, and it, it, it's, it's like even even your house. You you went and you worked hard for many years and built up enough money to go out and buy a house somewhere from someone, and mm -hmm. so you you buy the house. You paid you paid cash for it. Or you got a mortgage and you paid off the mortgage, and so you're done, right? You own this house, woohoo! But wait. There's these things called property tax, which means because that you're just leasing the land. Yeah, you, you don't house. you don't you don't own the house because if you don't pay, uh, you, you know, uh, that money yep. to the to whatever governmental entity is requiring it from you, uh, stating that you have it, then they will steal your house from you. Uh, yes, they will. So, um, yeah, and that's a different kind of war, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, no, but no. if you then, but the minute you, if you're voting and for politicians who then negotiate these gangsters that are taking your shit and making up their own rules, right? You're enabling them. You are enabling them. You're giving him the power to do it. Ab yes, absolutely. You are consenting, like like you yeah. said before. Yeah. All right. Let's well, stop well, it. Uh, <laughs> stop I, I, that. I, I, I think that uh, comes right into the next one there. Free usually comes at the highest price. Yes, especially in the commercial world, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. anytime something's free, like Facebook, for example, um, mm. well, you're, you're there, you think, oh, it's good, it's great, it's a free site, I don't I don't give them any money. Nah, well, as as uh, we stated, I don't know, if, did we state that on this show? Uh, or somebody mm. stated, anyway, uh, that... Um, if something is free, 
you are probably the product. Yes. And and yes. <laughs> so yes. uh, and uh, yeah, or or they'll they'll give you something like okay, here's this uh, thing you can use, but in order to use it, you need to buy all these other little things to make it work, to make it work properly, mm. or to expand its use. Uh, so uh, interesting, you know, the way the human minds work, right, mm -hmm. is that if you got a free gift from somebody, right, especially a company, okay. but even a person, if you get a free gift from somebody, right, in in your own mind, you know, in the depth of your mind, you now feel like you owe them something. So the next time somebody says something or you hear that name, you're going to pull up that little I owe them something and you're going to have to want, you're going to want to try to pay them back. Right. So if you walk down the street and some, some company is out there handing out free candy or free something with their logo on it, right? And you walk by mm -hmm. and you say, Oh, sure. I'll eat some, you know, sure. I'll get those chocolates. And you walk by and you say, Oh, thank you to this and this company. You know, thank you for your chocolates. And you walk up by couple of weeks later, you're going to meet somebody who says something about that company or you're going to be asked something or especially if you spend a lot of time on social media, you're going to see an advertisement or a test or a survey or something, right? Mm -hmm. you are, you're inclined to pay off that debt through your goodwill then. Or, or just your desire to uh, experience more of what it is that you got for free. Yeah. But as a general rule, without us knowing it, humans don't like being in unsettled debt. Right, yeah, so, yeah. And, and we do that without thinking unconsciously. When we get something for free, we we make a little note in our debt book, and we want to pay it back because we want to, uh, you know, get rid of the debt. Or or it's like the uh, the old adage about, uh, you know, heroin dealers. Uh, they'll yeah. they'll they'll give you the first one for free, the first dose or whatever they yeah. call it. And then you're trapped. Yeah, and then you're trapped, and you're stuck, and 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 you will do anything you can in order to yeah. get that next dose. Uh, I think, and then there are the Benjamin Franklin effect, which is very interesting. I think it was, I think that's what it's called, because he figured out that if you get somebody who doesn't like you, if somebody doesn't like you or think less high of you or something like that, mm -hmm. if you can somehow get them to do you a favor, like lend you a book or lend you their pencil or do a small favor or a small gesture for you, right? they're going to start liking you better. Because most people don't want to think about themselves that they did something nice to a person they don't like. Right. So since I did something nice for you, well, maybe you're not that bad, though, right? So he said he, he would get people like... um when he went into negotiations or when he had important meetings and he knew he was up against a person who who didn't really like him mm -hmm. or didn't trust him, right. he would, some days in advance, he would find a way for them to do him a favor. Okay. I thought that was very interesting. So that would be he was inveigling them. Yeah. Yeah, he would get them to, you know... Lend him a book or, you know, something, a pen, something, a small gesture, and that would open that piece in your mind. Right. But the, all these things, the commercial world knows this, right? They use it. Oh, of course, yeah. And they especially know that when, when free comes, we want to pay. We don't like free. We want to pay. I like free. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to pay. <laughs> I don't want to pay. Yeah. <coughs> do you take free stuff, though? Well, I mean, I'm sure I do, and I can't think of anything offhand. But, um, I, you know, I, you know, we talked about Twitter earlier. I don't, I don't pay cash to use Twitter, but they're taking my information and things that I do on there and using that as a. Uh, well, you know, first off, you're signed up there, so you're a member, so they can, they can use that to add, to, you know, to their whatever it is, advertise, you know, when they're trying to buy advertising or sell advertising to people, they're saying, oh, look, we have X many members that are active or whatever, so mm. 
yes, I take stuff for free, but they're they're using me uh, in that way. Um, I can't think of too many. You know, it's, I'm not like walking out there and getting a free car or anything. Um <laughs> you don't show up on Oprah. Which, which why not? Where's my free car? Um, <laughs> <laughs> my free car. I thought everybody in America got free cars. Oh yeah, only on Oprah. What are they like? Fifty dollars over there or something? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Danish cars are three hundred percent uh tax. But but well, that's the whole different thing. If you if you were are given a free car and they they say the value of this car is thirty thousand dollars. Well, you got to suddenly pay tax on thirty thousand dollars, and you and you which gotta, would be three hundred percent in Denmark. I, so you I, would ruin a guy by giving them a car. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the what the you know. <laughs> and there's there's different taxes. You got to okay. It's considered income. Somebody gave you something. Uh, here's thirty thousand dollars of income. Then you also got to pay the vehicle tax when you go down to register the car, and you have to register the car, or else they'll throw you in jail when you drive it. Um, yeah, I think it's the register tax here that are like three hundred percent of the car value. Which is nuts. Which is why nobody has cars there, right? People have cars. They're just very. Um, they take good care of their cars. Car cars are only for the wealthy. No, I don't know. The street. Most people have small cars, okay. small Japanese cars, right? Yeah. Hmm. Well, you got to re. You got to repay. Yeah, I mean, you got to pay the tax every time that your your registration comes due here. Oh. Uh, so. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to do. So that. it may it may not be three hundred percent all at once, but eventually it gets there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, here the more the polluting. The more polluting the car is, the more in taxes you pay. Oh, uh, see, that's that that crazy uh, climate green activism taxes. is an enabler. Got green taxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so paying once you once you paid for that pollution, <laughs> the pollution feel any better? The pollution's all good. It don't matter anymore. All right. Now we will, only, will it no longer kill the kids that play in the streets? No, oh, but it well, will. it never killed them in the first place. But that's a different story. Uh, yeah. No, it does though. I lived in those streets, man. Well, yeah, but... I had an apartment in the middle of Copenhagen. I would clean the windows. Half an hour later, they'd be completely dark again. Uh, that's disgusting. Yeah. All right, anyway, like, yeah. um, speaking of cleaning windows, um, uh, we, only got, <laughs> we only have a couple minutes left, but our, our last topic is justice is a smoke screen for control. So that's, mm. that smoke screen that was showing up on your windows... Um. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Anyway, uh, so um, yeah, yes, it is because there is no actual justice if you go through the justice system. Uh, no, there is only control, controlling reactions and actions. Right, because they I mean, they won't even let you, uh, uh, you know, take an actual case uh, to a to a to the justice system, the court system, unless they agree to allow you to do so. Which they're not going to if um, if your questions or uh, whatever whatever you're, you're trying to get accomplished goes against their their thoughts and beliefs or interests. Besides, like they're kidnapping people and putting them in small cells in big houses, locking them away. Right for doing nothing. There's, there's it doesn't matter what you did or didn't do. What 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 what. what, what? That's disgusting. It is. It's hugely disgusting. Yes, it is. Yeah. It is. And, uh, so Prisons are nasty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let people... And I know this... I'm not even sure I want to live in a world like that, but then I would just go to a small island, I guess. But let people face the ones they wrong, man. Absolutely. Let them sort it out. If they want to put somebody behind bars and they're going to build their own prison and put somebody behind bar and go feed them every day and look at that mess, let them do it. Don't fucking hire people to do that shit. That's disgusting. It is disgusting. Yeah. And it got much worse once they uh, started uh, making the uh, prisons a for-profit enterprise. Yeah, I don't live under that shit. Yeah, well, they have that here in the U.S. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we're out of time. I wish we could go on, 
but we can. On we such can. a cheerful note. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for, thanks to all those that tuned in live, and thanks to all those listening on the podcast later on. And to uh, this uplifting hour of optimism. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. Uh, we'll be back again next week with episode twenty-five. Uh, same bat time, same bat channel. See, they oh. sold they sold me that. It's in my brain now since. Since I was Same a little bat shit host. Since I was a little kid watching Batman on the television. Yeah, uh, I remember that. Same oh, bat time. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, um, so have a great rest of your uh, week, everybody. Good rest of your day here. Uh, yeah. Depending on where you're at, maybe you're going to bed now. I don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah, you. you I don't know. It's nine o'clock. Uh, yeah. Well, you Denmarkians. And you're different, and different time schedule. Um, and the right time schedule. Oh, of course. Weird of enough. course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Damn equator dwellers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a- a- anyway. Have a good uh, one. Yeah, thanks. And uh, I'll, uh, me and Moose will be back on our normal schedule on <laughs> Friday this week rather than Thursday, which was really confusing. Um, oh, yes, it yeah, was. Yeah. So uh, yeah. that's it. Talk to you all later. Peace.